Hello guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial here. In the last episode we failed um, trying to make the door section here so hopefully you stayed to watch the whole of that episode in order to get it um, sorted out here so you can see that's looking pretty good down there. So we have our skirt, we have our door, our wing, our bonnet and our bump done. In this episode here I think what we'll do is we'll start to run down the roof section here which will then allow us to get onto the back area there. So. What we're going to do is we will um, work on our roof section here and the first thing we're going to do is with our old settings selected on our duplicate special make sure we've got instance here negative one on our scale on the x-axis and we can duplicate special so this means that we're going to be able to see everything we do on both sides of these elements here we're going to take all of our smooth sections here along with the floor and we will isolate that selection there. Okay, so we're looking quite good here now for the most part as we go around the main shell for this car. Um, if we get this roof done, um, pretty much on the home straight in terms of the actual shell body itself. So, what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to smooth this out. So we've got a few little creases that we need to pay attention to. Um, it should famous last words, should be fairly straightforward for us here. So, let's have a look at the actual roof section of this car. So we can see here that we've got a little bit of a curve on there, so we don't want that angle straight off. We have an edge that's running all the way up and around here, which is nice and defined, which we want to keep. And then we've got our creases in the top section here, so hopefully it shouldn't actually be too hard. So. Let's just make sure that our mesh is aligned nicely here, so we can see that we're running along there quite nice, so that's all good. And we'll look from the side view here, Let's see maybe, maybe in general we want to be a little bit higher with these roof sections here. actually do is we'll double check this back section as well. So we can see that we need to actually add another edge inside there which if I remember correctly should actually sit for this section here. So that's what we'll do first. We will grab a point here. That will allow us now to pull this in just there. And then what we'll do is we'll match that point. And to our mesh tools, we can insert an edge loop and we are going to match that edge across there. Which is fine. So now with those two new sections in, we'll now be able to pull these points here. And take this one to match it there. take this one with us because that's going to be another quick front one that we're going to end up wanting to drop in. Okay. So on here then we are going to want to insert our edge loops. So on our edge loops here first things first is we will want to get one dropped at this very bottom section here but we don't actually want to do that because that's going to make it awkward for our windscreen. So what we'll do is I'm going to delete all of these interior faces. You guys may not have done that because I did that in between episodes. Uh, but I'm going to delete that there just to make this bit a little bit easier for us here. Um, oops. Let's use our edge loop here and we're going to go all the way up to the very edge there. 
just to maintain that section. We're going to drop one um, just here, just to help that curve a little bit there. We know that we have one that runs all the way up this edge here as well. So let's see how that's looking then just there. So we see now that we've got that defined edge that's going up over there. And a little bit of a curve inside there as well, which is fine. Okay. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drop another edge loop. And I'm going to drop it just here because I think that line should be a little bit more defined. I'm just moving. So we can see now we've got a nice sharp line going across there, which looks great. What we also want to do is we want some edges. I think what we'll do as well is, as part of this edge that we've just added, we're going to just drag it away here. Let's make sure we're dragging the right one away actually. is here and I believe it is. So we have our crease there and then we have our crease there so it's not the corner bit there. So it's here and here. So I think what we'll actually want to do is we'll actually want to bring this back. This edge that we want to move away. Yeah. Okay, so let's just give this a go, dropping an edge loop in, and we'll see how this sits. Insert an edge loop. And we'll drop one here. And Okay, so we can kind of see that we've got that crease sections running down there. So I think what we'll do here is let's just make sure that this crease is a bit more defined. So what we could probably do with these points is pull them up here. So we've got those nice defined lines now across the top. So we've got one here and one here. Now in reality they're fairly subtle. I think we've just about got that subtle T correct there, so that's good. 
got a nice sharp line running down there. So I think that section is looking pretty good. So we can now grab all the edges to this. And we will. I think it looks like I must have accidentally done that change. Take that back away. So, what we'll do is we'll grab all these edges, and again, we don't want the side facing edges here. So, we'll take all of these away. And we are going to control E. And we'll drop in on this blue option here. Plus key. Looks pretty good all around there, so we'll drop it in just a bit more. Okay, and that will allow us now to insert some edge loops just under here and here. And what we'll do is we'll drop one straight down this edge here. Edge. There we go, that's looking really good on that roof section there. There we go, that actually was easy. Let's crack on. So, onto our view here, we can see that that line continues into this section. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to reflect those lines coming in. It does look like we want that to be here. And this is actually part of the inset section which goes into the engine bay there. So we need to get a nice edge around there as well. So what we'll do just now is let's grab all these exterior edges again. We don't want these ones. And we'll control E in. We'll just go in just to match the other panel there. We may need to move around these vertices here just a little bit. Okay. What we'll do here is we're going to do the exact same. So we are going to reflect that edge there by adding some edge loops. Drop one in here and one in here. I'm going to want to maintain this curve here so we're going to drop one, two edge loops around there and we'll go up against here for good measure. And then we'll drop down here as well. It does look like in this bit is going to be I'll do in between episodes is I'll go through and I'll merge these sections by clicking on the two, um, going to mesh, combine, and then merging, merging all of the center vertices together. But I'll do that in between episodes in the interest of time. So we've got that roof up there looking really good. And what we'll aim to do now is we'll aim to create our side section. So let's select all of this. And let's take this bit as well. Now I've got a feeling that this bit's going to be a little bit on the annoying side. Um, so hopefully it shouldn't be too tricky for us. So what we're going to do is we will duplicate special again. We've already got the settings set up for that. So everything's looking really good now. All this front section is starting to look really good. It's starting to take really good shape. What we want to do now is hopefully maintain a similar shape here as well. So 
looking at this aspect, what we're going to need to do is we need this line here to be quite defined. I think there's a line on here that we want to be quite defined as well. And then we want to be able to run some edges up here. So, firstly, I think that's quite defined as well. In terms of the mesh, it all looks nice and tidy. So it looks like we should be able to crack straight on with this. Let's just make a few changes to this section here. So I think what we'll want to do first is close these boxes. I think what we'll want to do first is we're going to want to run an edge up around the outside of this section here. So, what we'll do is we'll drop in a point here and a point here for now. And that's going to allow us to insert some edge loops. So we're going to want one running up here and one running down here. So we can help maintain this curve, this angle nicely. And then we can pull these points nice and close here. Inside as well, so let's just run the smoothing groups from here so we can match the best we can. And then we're going to want to insert an edge loop around this edge, which hopefully will then follow around the corner and down here, which it has. got that edge going around here. It looks like this section here is going to be a bit of a pain for us. So what we'll do is we are going to Now we'll try bring an edge loop inside here, which will stop just shy of our edge there. So what we'll do is bring this down right into this corner here. 
and then we'll be able to do the same here. taking that edge right in along the that section there. We do have a little bit of a bobble here but we'll be able to sort that out. Now, one thing I'm not liking here is the shape of these sections. we'll actually do here is we'll delete this edge and then we'll actually so we'll do that let's draw in so we'll try to go most of the way down here and then up this edge here So we can see that smoothed off that section, which looks a little bit nicer just now. And what we could try doing is maybe delete the edge just there. And insert an edge loop. What I have actually just remembered is down here we actually do have we actually do have an inset here, a crease where this actually is deleted. So on the actual model there we actually have a line here means that when we smooth this will actually sit perfectly just there for us. Perfect. Good. So we're not quite getting the definition out of here that we want. So here we should actually have a little bit more definition. So what we'll do to achieve that is we'll pull these points out. So that corner section there is looking really good. And what we we'll want to do now is try and make sure that we are along the same lines here. that we need this edge to be quite straight as well. Now we have a problem here because we don't want to run a line in there because we'll see on the images here that that line isn't actually itself defined. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to run a line either side of here but then we're going to actually run up this section here. Do here as well. We'll actually bring this bit up. Snap that here. Okay. 
So we know that this section here is actually quite defined. So that line there, I'm going to run the edge loops along, but I think we'll work on this one first. So what we'll do is we will drop in drop an edge loop here. drop an edge loop nice and close here and here. And we'll be able to put one here and here. We don't want to be too close with those because we've already defined those nicely. We don't want to affect the mesh on the other side. So if we take that down now. is we don't need this line, we don't need this line, what we actually want to do is that one's fine there, we want to bring one here as well, and then we can remove any off end of vertices in that section. Now we've got a nice defined line going down there, not affecting our corner there, so that looks pretty good. And it's kind of going around there nicely, and not going around even nicer once we draw in our new points here. Nice and rounded, so they're not going to offset our mesh or hinder our progress in any way. Okay, so that looks good now. We can see it goes right up to the edge. We can see that that's coming right up here, which is perfect. So we need to define this edge going down here as well. So what we'll do is we will insert an edge loop all the way down this edge here. So I've got that defined edge. We can see from some of our images, let's see how defined it is. So it's a little bit more defined towards the bottom there. It's not hugely defined. So we can see here, it's not hugely defined there. I think. That should probably be enough for us there. If not, we can always throw another one straight down the middle here just to give it a little bit more. Not too much more, but a little bit more. So we see 
that, that's a little bit stronger going down there, which is good. We also now want to run an edge loop down here. Stick one up the bottom there as well. It's a little bit nice straight edge going into the engine bay section there. A little bit of dodginess here. So it may just be because we haven't extruded in yet, so we'll come back to that bit afterwards. And now we have a crease. You can see we've got a crease that runs all the way down this edge here. So before we do that, we'll just make super sure that this is looking good here. So, can insert an edge loop now. The problem we have is we see it's joining here, but we don't want to obviously make this section straight. So, we're going to need to put a point bang in the middle here, and we'll put a point bang in the middle here. So, now with our mesh tools, we can insert our edge loop to go all the way along here. And we know that this is a very well defined, so we might want to double this one. So we can see that's nice and defined as it runs down here. And we'll be able now to bring these points together. What we'll do with these points is we'll just make sure that there's a little bit of movement in them. One obvious thing that we want to do here is we want to insert an edge loop to go all the way around the very edge of this wheel arch here. And then we're going to want to do one all the way around the outside as well, but we've got a little bit of a sticking point here. So we'll insert an edge loop here and here. And that will allow us now to drop an edge loop all the way around the outside of this wheel. It sits nicely down here. Good. And then we'll be able to drag out points. Up and around here. And then we can merge these two here. And again, just want to make sure things are still looking fine. Good, that's good. Let's smooth that out so we can see I've got a beautifully shaped arch there. We have our crease coming off just here. Our crease inside, crease inside there. We've got a double crease up there, which looks good. Okay. 
So that's all looking pretty good in my opinion. So I think the next step would be to extrude everything in and then we'll add this line. So if we'll double click on this edge, go all the way around here and then we'll extrude in on our blue arrow there. And now that this is actually a separate part we'll need to do the same here. do is we'll go around and just make sure that all these vertices is sitting how we want them to so there's no dodgy crossovers like we have here. Let's get this in the component. these here will be better off coming in set a little bit. We see that we've still got this issue up here. Everything else around here is looking pretty much spot on, apart from this section there. A little bit of a mismatch along the door here as well. Okay guys, so I'm just going to speed this section up of the video um, as I work through this just now.
Okay guys, so I think I've just about got through all of that section there, so hopefully if you guys were um, watching through the video, uh, essentially what I was doing was, I was doing exactly the same as what we've done on previous sections in order to straighten out these corners here, ready for the next stage. Um, and also what I did was, around this section it was a little bit wavy on my mesh, it might not be too bad on yours, but whilst it's in its smooth view here, what I was doing was pulling a few points here and there just to make sure that um, the mesh wasn't waving because um, that will cause some errors when it comes to us actually applying some materials um, to this car and rendering it out. Um, so if you've got some lights on some reflective material, every little bump will show as we go. So what I did was, on the smooth there, I just moved points around just to make sure that everything's sitting exactly how it should. So look here, I can still see that there is a few more points that I am needing to separate a little bit around here. So essentially in order to get rid of the waviness, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting just to get these parts as far away from each other as possible. Um, editing in this section, we'll be editing the positions um, when we're not in our smooth view, but that's not a big deal at this point now, as we're getting to the point where the smooth finish is what we're going to be looking for anyway. So, as we can see there, we've got some nice depth to the model there. We've got some, um, all the required sections done from the front down to the back, it seems. I may need to go back and edit that handle at some point as well. Okay guys, see you in the next episode.